Hello everyone, Slifer is here and as I promised I'm going to show you my towers. I am not going to show you my rooms because the video will be too long. I will have to explain you all kind of stuff. But I'll show you every one of my towers. If you go in the towers in the card slot, you have tower slot, spell slot and feeders. I will talk about towers today and on my next video I will talk about spells. Let's start with this tower. This tower is legendary. It's from the latest upgrade. You can see all latest upgrade towers have snow white mm, star thing on the front which make them 8 stars. Which is pretty awesome. Good damage, low speed, good range, 9 upgrades, 44, 45 cost, bit expensive, 100 health. This is damage roll, damage increase with range up to 20% points of max distance till 200% extra damage to the totems, ground and flying. This is new version of uh, Fog Tower, this is epic, nearly no damage, nearly no speed, nearly no range. Well. Really good range, sorry. Uh, six upgrades, 25 cost, 115 health, level 98 from 9 because it's new and I did not have it that much. This is counter, detect and may mark creeps in a fog which allows the towers to attack them. This is the same stuff, this new fog tower and the octave half um, to one other. But the new thing is this tower can force flying to the ground, which makes this tower absolutely overpowered. I highly recommend you to get even one of them. This will save your day. This can mark one of the flyings, which mean on the grounds will stay on the ground. But this is the mortar. This is epic. 8 stars, really good damage, bit slow, great range of fire, 8 upgrades, 60 cost, which is a bit expensive, 30 for every upgrade, 150 health, which is a bit less, level 90, 6 from 7, because it's new, and I didn't improve it to the max, you can see I have a couple more rooms to put on, I'll explain to you on my next video, shoot cannon balls at lock range to deal immense splash damage, grounds only. But when you force flying to the ground, this will shoot them as well. This is one of the towers from the first version of the game, which is Prime Defenders. And I do love it because it's red. I love everything red. <laughs> right. Um, Seismetic Slammer. This is Epic Tower, 8 stars. Really good damage, really good speed. Not that great range. 9 upgrades. It's relevant cost. It's no darkness. 6 from 7 because it's new, level 90. It's counter. It's shake the ground to deal area damage to all nearby underground enemies. Burn creeps dealing 410 damage every second for 4 seconds, undergrounds only. Which means if this creep or these creeps go out of the range of this tower, they will remain burned and they will die. Which is okay for us, defenders. This is improved version of spray tower. This is better than electric tower because half biggest deep, better damage per second. It's relevantly slow, nearly no range, eight upgrades, bit expensive to deploy and to and to upgrade. Nearly no health, F eight from eight, level ninety. This area damage. I recommend you to put this tower on corners when the creatures can make you turns and just to make turns which allows you to use the full range on the tower it's tugging ground and flying only so cannot kill underground this is snake tower special eight stars i did put some improvements on it but i simply done this because i did want to see the difference between the improved tower and the old snake tower so Yes, this one with the white star on the front, they are actually better than the old ones. <laughs> That's why we go in the leash to fight for it. Next one is one of my free support towers I'm bringing with me every game. One of these is the stun tower, 
which is a special 8 stars 9 upgrade, 30 cost, 15 for upgrade, 543 health, which is okay. 9 from 9, no damage, nearly slow speed, so so about range. This has 59% chance to stun a creep for 1.48 seconds, so for 1.5 seconds. Grounds only, when you force the flying to ground, this can stun grounds as well. So at level 9, which is the highest upgrade of the tower, I can stun creep up to 9 seconds, which is okay, I would have thought. I put in this tower on 30% um, rate fire. This is Detector, the new improvement of the old Detector, it's a special tower, nearly no damage, really good speed, 7 upgrades, 25 costs, no health, time from 9 towers. This is really really good range, and when I upgrade to level 7, this half 12 range, which one of two of them is nearly enough for the whole map. Uh, you can see I haven't used it that much, that's why it's level 83, but it's counter and reveals invisible enemies so all towers can attack them ground and flanks only but two of them for every level is pretty much enough in the most cases one this is uh, the new version of assault tower i do not use this tower at all um if some of you think this tower is really good and if they want to contact me and to Put the comment below with ideas how I can improve that tower at the best um, at the best way. Just let me know and I'll consider to do some videos with this tower as well. This is uh, a cursed bastion. This is seven stars, legendary old tower. No damage, no speed, no range. Six upgrades for the. Uh, prime to deploy 200 health 4 from 8 because legendary towers are a bit more hard to improve so level 90 this is support but this tower it curses the creeps in the area which mean if 100 creeps pass nearby this 2 and 2 range they will take 52% more damage for 7.9 seconds on level 6 for 22 seconds they are taking 52 percent more damage this is targeting chrome and flanks only electric tower cheaper version of spray tower legendary tower seven stars good damage so so speed so so range nine upgrades more cheap than the spray tower bit less damage bit more health eight from eight level 90 area damage it's hitting or passing by enemies and creeps with huge electric charge grounds and flying as well which is good this is this was my saving when i was level 60 to 78 90 so i use this flaming cannon which is legendary seven stars nine upgrades this is the most expensive tower in the game with the less health, the less attack damage, the less speed, and pretty much so so range. I use this tower to deal with flying creatures. I have uh, a lot of videos in my channel, so if you subscribe or you see my channel, you can see my other videos when I use this tower a lot against um, flying creeps. This is because it's a devastating flaming bows that have 47% to stun multiply creeps for 2 seconds and force flying to the ground which is pretty badass. It's ground and flying, I do have some improvements to do in this tower but I will do. This is my second support tower I'm getting every time with me in the battles, 7 stars legendary, 8 Upgrades, 30 cost, 200 HP, 5 from 6, no damage, no speed, good range. When I get this down a full range, this is 10 range, sometimes 12 and a half when I deploy on 40% um, range increase anomaly. Level 90, 
it slows closest enemies which get in this range with 70 percent and it can't be frozen at all which means if a monster get in this and have 200 speed it will have only 60 speed when it passed in this area it's targeting everything flying grounds and underground this is my second best portal horn height my first legendary tower i do love this tower it's legendary seven stars nine upgrades 30 cost not held six from six good damage not too bad speed not too bad range it's area damage it releases poison which deals 7249 damage to the neighbor every second for three seconds which means i'm dealing 21,000 damage for three seconds more over than 21 and when you hit the creep with this which is invisible it cannot become invisible this is targeting ground and flying this was my first legendary tower so i love it <laughs> <clears throat> Hornet Hive. Uh, sorry, pardon me, my bad. This is Horrifying Tower. This is legendary, 7 star, 6 upgrade, 30 to deploy, 115. No damage, no speed, nearly no range. But when I upgrade this to level 6, the range is pretty badass. This tower is support. I do not bring it all the time with me because it's a bit. Dodgy. I'll explain you in another video when I fight with it. But this support tower has 71% to confuse a creep increases with level for 2.6 seconds, making it to the wrong way on crossroad and forget about spell casting. So about spell casting and wrong ways, this is the tower you need. But I will show you against with bosses against which bosses this tower is the best it's ground and flying only not underground but this tower is badass and in future video i'll show you how to use it properly uh lightning tower legendary seven stars i have not improved this tower a lot because i don't usually use it uh 12 from 12 level 90 counter Deal great damage to single creep, 80% chance to ignore the target armor, deals 400 extra damage to the totems, ground and flying. This is really good against uh, bosses who spawn totems or against levels which you have totems you have to kill fast, like um, this um, disaster with the flying uh, harpies I showed you earlier. Prior Rester, legendary 7 stars, I have not improved this a lot, really great range so so damage but for me is bit meh this is the worst version of the brand new legendary itself because half only um 25 percent points at the max distance so uh if you do think i can improve this star more just let me know prime injector this is my first tower i'm using every single battle legendary tower this is 7 stars, 9 upgrades, 30 to deploy, not health, 7 from 7, max level, no damage, no speed, nearly no range. When I get this tower at the max level 9, this is getting really good range and increases all my neighbor tower damage by 70%. This can target only towers, which mean this make my towers boost to the skies. This is the max amount of um, uh, critical damage increase you can do. So it's badass. This is badass, honestly. 